What's going on? This is Alan Brown, aka Blue the Kid. And today I have an unboxing. But we'll get to that in just a second. Kick that intro. sample the fender rumble 800 and then you got it sitting on top of a boom base cabinet 1015 why do you need another cabinet well i need so i got a small car relatively small in comparison to my body and i wanted something a little bit more portable something i could you know sit in real quick and then get out of there those serve the purpose but they take up a little bit more room i got two car seats it is it's a thing so i figured I wanted to get my hands on this actual base cabinet and it'll serve the purpose of what I need. Does some pretty cool stuff. So let's check it out. <clears throat> so off the bat, this is a hard key HD 112 hydride. And uh, I've seen this uh, with a number of uh, bass players and stuff. And it's not too overpowering. It's relatively light, you know, right around the 30 pound range, which is cool. And uh, it's compact, more importantly. So what am I actually gonna be doing with this? I'm probably gonna put my uh, either my tone hammer or more than likely I'll be using my uh, Elf, my Trace Elliott Elf with this. And um, I can put my Elf in a gig bag and then come in with this bad boy and then yeah I could have did that better but let's just rip it open you know so yeah I'm gonna put the elf in a gig bag and uh should be ready to get down within you know three minutes or so oh and then the uh, game of what is bully opening this thing with this is a uh, two-sided drill bit piece and I'm using the flat end Serving the purpose, doing the same. So yeah, been looking at this for going on five or six months, and I'm hoping it's gonna be dope. I've never had a 12-inch speaker before, so this is gonna be a new little, new little ditty. And uh, I don't know if it's stackable, but worst case scenario, I get two 12s together, and then boom, I'm in there. If I wanted to do that, which I don't think I will. But yeah, it's it's tucked in here pretty nice. Very well protected. I like that. Okay. And then uh, let's get them on out. Alright, alright, alright. So that's the okay, okay. I don't know what's in there. We'll see that later. But yeah, this is this is the goodness. have wheels so it will have to be carried everywhere not a big deal but yeah so this is supposed to be 300 watts uh, RMS that's enough for at least a medium sized venue or a smaller to medium sized venue definitely definitely a coffee gig and I can sit on it because it's wide let's check it out real quick can sit on it. It has a handle on one end here, so I could uh, sit it on, could sit it flat like this, or possibly sit it down like this, or something. But it does have a handle, and that's nice. And uh, here you go. This is the cabinet. 12 inch speaker here. I think this is a one inch tweeter here. This is the port to the front. But the thing that actually impress me about this cabinet is what I'm about to show you now. I like the fact that you have staging for the horn, you know, on, off, minus 6 dB, depending on the music you're playing. I'm going to keep it on because I slap. And the cool thing 
is this switch right here goes between 8 ohms and 4 ohms. So I can get the full power out of my uh, amplifier at 200 watts. That's what the Trace Elliott is. I get the full power there. Or if I want to stack this with something else, I could then put this in line with another cabinet that could be either 8 ohms or 4 ohms. And then do the loading that way and use this as an extension going to the next thing. This has both um, inputs for either the cord or speak on input. And the extension has the same thing going on as well. That's convenient. So I don't have to necessarily have just a cord or just a uh, speak on thing. Uh, with the Trace Elliott, there is no speak on port. It's a very small little situation. I don't see. Hold on. I'll show you the whole setup. Give me one second. All right. So here we are. This is basically what it's going to look like. So I have the Trace Elliott Elf, which is a micro mini uh, base amp here. And I can set this off to the side or set it on the ground. And then I have all this space for me to sit on and kick it which is convenient. Uh, but what I was saying before, the Trace Elliott doesn't have a uh, speak on output on the back of it. It takes up too much real estate, so it doesn't have one. All it has is just a speaker output, which is a quarter inch jack. And this has the ability to do both. So I have this as an option. I also have my Tone Hammer uh, 350 as an option. You can do eight ohm, four ohm as well. And that's, that's nice. And I have the ability to take this uh, fender here, set that on top of this for a nice different compact type sound and get two tens and a 12 if I wanted to do that. Or put both of these together, put this and the boom bass cabinet together and get a 10, a 12, and a 15 all working together <laughs> if I wanted to do that. So that's cool. And... Uh, the whole thing is compact. It's really cool. And I'm I'm thinking this is gonna be pretty nice. Thinking it's gonna be pretty nice. Already looks pretty good. So yeah. I'll be uh probably taking this out and playing at church this weekend, and we will see how this bad boy actually does. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. My name is Alan Brown. And uh yeah, till the next time. That'll be easy. There we go. I'm going to go over here. Let's see how this sounds. Let's go ahead and uh, plug her in. Mm-hmm. <laughs>